Hey, Bingers, what's going on? Binge Pulse here, back again with a quick video. I'm going to do my review for the 33. Um, just a blast from the past type review. Um, just getting right into it. Um, so basically the 33, it's about a, um, uh, it's a, like, like a survival drama that took place during the um, uh, San Jose mine in Chile. Um, it stars Antonio Banderas and it's directed by uh, Perdicia Riggin which is not a familiar uh, name. I haven't seen, I'm looking through her filmography right now. Um, yeah, I haven't really heard of anything else from from her. But uh, nevertheless, this was a pretty good film. Uh, it's a little underrated. But um, with that being said, I feel like this type of movie, it's been made plenty of times. Uh, it's one of those heartfelt type, uh, disaster type movies. But um I think the main problem with this film, there just wasn't anything unique about the movie. Um, it just was, it's one of those team building type movies where you have characters that are, you know, getting frustrated. You got one that's, um, you know, a family man. You've got, you got one that was like a, a, you know, alcoholic. He's going through some, you know, alcohol withdrawals because they're, you know, obviously they're underground. Um, so it, it causes a lot of tension between those characters, but even so, there wasn't any any real tension in the movie. Uh, I just felt like uh, these guys were in an environment where for it to be a claustrophobic environment, the way the set was built, it was actually like they were all, you know, they were, it was like a large set, you know, where they were just walking around and there was just a bunch of just, you know, space between them and whatnot. And, to me, it just, I, I didn't, I wanted more of that claustrophobia. I wanted that tension. I mean, these guys are struggling with their life. And to me, it just felt very routine. We had a lot of side characters going on, a lot of side drama that just wasn't necessary. One of the characters, I guess, you know, committed an affair. And I guess the, the, uh, the wife found out and happened to run into the girl. And it's it just like a lot of unnecessary just filler into it. But um, Antonio Banderas, he does a phenomenal job. And I, I really think he's a very underrated actor. He's got a lot of uh, acting chops to him. And not only is he a, a physical actor, he could do his own stunts and whatnot. I mean, the guy can act. He's got a lot of potential. And I feel like with this movie, if we can get anything out of this movie, is it's another list into his filmography that can, you know, give him more work, essentially. I see a lot of his movies, a lot of them are like direct to video and it just, to me, it's just not necessary. Um, but overall, I mean, the movie, if you're looking for a film that's, you know, I guess that uplifting heartfelt film, uh, give this one a shot. Uh, I, I really think it's, it's, um, it's underrated. Um, uh, but at the same time, you know, it, it's got its problems, but uh, overall, I give the movie, a, I'll give it a three out of five. Um, you can find it probably, I th where did I watch it? It was on Amazon Prime. So, uh, you know, if you guys are looking for something to watch, it's definitely a movie worth your time. Uh, it's nothing that you're just going to be uh, talking about for weeks on end. It's more or less just going to be one of those, you know, at the moment, it's going to give you that little inspiration, you know, that'll be it for it. But anyways, guys, till next time, keep on binging.